Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is a, a modification to the, this is the waste tank. We're going to eliminate this. And since this is a 4880 and this has a uh, encoder in it, it doesn't really need to see this guy. So um, what we're going to do is do a... Um, capping station conversion for ink pulls. So it's an ink pull capping station conversion. Um, what that allows us to do is, uh, instead of doing power cleans, um, if you have some clogs or whatever, you can do an ink pull, do a syringe from the capping station and pull about three times more ink through the print head uh, to unclog uh, some clogs. This, is, uh, this usually works, it doesn't work all the time, but it does better than a power clean. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is take off the screws here. And there's a screw here. Uh, and what we're gonna do is remove this side panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove so that side. Now we that we have the side panel off, we can see everything. There's my encoder, okay. And we're looking for this guy right here. This little oil pan. That little drain hole right there is what goes into the maintenance tank, all the spent out ink, whatever. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove that, okay? So there should be a screw here somewhere to drop this, what I call oil pan. So I'm gonna go look for it and I'll report to you where okay, it is. Okay, so right down, right next to the capping station, you see my screwdriver, if you go down, there is a screw down on this side. You take that one screw out, okay? And you can go down to the bottom, take a flathead, okay? And this oil pan that we're taking off, okay? You can take a screwdriver here and just pop it off. So what you'll see is it has two hoses here. We want those two right there. This oil pan is, you can put it to the side. We don't need that guy anymore. So all we're after is these two guys right here. So now, so now I've got this T and an extra piece of hose to run outside of the machine. So we're gonna, there's two hoses here. We're gonna split that and put it onto this T valve and run it outside. Okay, so you see I got my T set up now, and I tie tied it up so I can run it outside of the machine. And you can see my head is in a park position right now, and you can do a pull to pull ink out. So here I am had to reposition, but uh, if you pull on this, you see some resistance and it'll pull ink through the head. And the way you can find out if it's actually pulling is it'll pull back. And if you want to take a quick look, you can go ahead and move the head and you will see ink being pulled through the head. See, I got white, I got my purple, I mean, I got my blues, my blacks, my reds and my yellows. So you know that the ink is being pulled through the head. So remember to comment, like, and sh comment, like, and share, and uh, just go ahead and, and hit that uh, subscribe button. Thank a lot. Bye bye.